In this day and age, with the digital world evolving to become bigger and bigger, people have to adapt to this change too, because many jobs today involve computer literacy, and this number is only growing. It's no surprise then that people have become incredibly skilled with all forms of technology, including Photoshop, where it can be so absolutely convincing that we can't tell if the image has been doctored. However, on the other hand, there are also images where it seems obvious that an image has been changed. But with context and by looking a little deeper, we determine that the images are in fact pure and unedited. Whether it's a landscape, an artwork, or just plain good timing, sometimes we see pictures that initially don't make sense to us. But in today's video, we are going to show you 15 images that you won't believe aren't photoshopped. In October 2010, a corner of a caustic waste reservoir collapsed in Hungary, causing a reported 185 million gallons of red mud, made mainly of iron oxide and alumina, to flood two nearby villages and cause 10 known deaths. All life in the Hungarian Markel River is said to have been extinguished by the event. The aftermath is a red line painted across much of the district that when captured at the right angle looks almost unbelievable. Palindromo Mazaros also photographed more urban structures such as buildings and railways affected by the spillage. Neil Dawson's sculpture Horizons is downright jaw-dropping. Erected in 1994, Dawson's sculpture perfectly mirrors that of a cartoon iteration of a tissue. Although there are only two angles to look at this piece of art from which yields maximum effect, the intricate geometry used to create the dimensional illusion is still incredible to admire. Other similar works include Toss, a sculpture depicting a mortarboard being thrown into the air above Victoria University in Wellington, and Orb, showing a large boulder being tethered to the ground with rope. In reality, of course, his works are made from steel. In late September of 2014, Japan's second highest volcano erupted on a previously fine and sunny morning. The 2014 eruption of Mount Antake proved to be the deadliest in Japan since World War II, with no warnings of what was about to happen. The eruption would leave a body count of between 57 and 63 people. In this photograph, the entire peak was covered in ash to create a grayscale background, while the rescuers, some in a dull green and the rest in bright colors, stand out strong enough against the background that you'd be forgiven to think that a color splash effect was used to create the contrast. Odds are you've probably seen this picture before, but if it's your first time seeing it, it's truly mind-blowing. At first, this looks like four separate panels showing contrast between three panels of blue and one of red. However, it is all one unedited image, with props positioned very, very carefully to create the illusion of a split between quadrants. This single photograph by Bella Bardosi appears as the cover for Austrian electronic band VLP's album Terrain, released in 2011. An alternate view to this piece offers a more understandable point of view explaining how the effect was created, in case you can't wrap your head around it. When you're packing for travel, you might forget your toothbrush or a spare change of socks to bring with you. French sculptor and artist Bruce Catalano, however, is renowned for his artwork showing only part of his subjects. The Grand Van Gogh shows two copies of famous artist Vincent Van Gogh carrying a suitcase, with the portion of his body between his chest and knees completely missing. Catalano has said that the empty space in his bronze sculptures represent his past. When he was 12 years old, Catalano left Morocco to live in France. He said that upon leaving, he felt a part of him was gone and would never come back to him. Have you ever seen rainbow corn on the cob? Sure, you might have seen multicolored popcorn, but Native Seeds sells seeds for glass gem corn, a translucent corn on the cob in an infinite amount of color combinations, with no ear of corn the same. It can come in any color you can think of. Yellow, blue, red, purple, gray, green, orange, anything. Another variety shown on their website is a duller ear with what appears as a grayish overlay over the vegetable. But rest assured, the image and the corn itself are 100% real. What's better yet, you can buy around 50 of their incredible seeds for the price of a cup of coffee. This isn't a globe, so what is it then? The answer makes the whole situation seem like a huge project that would have been easier photoshopped anyway. Believe it or not, this is one of Mark Rugel's refraction images, where he captured a high-speed image of a map through a drop of water. Not only has Rugel done this once, but his website as of right now features six stunning images of the Earth captured through a droplet. The German artist has said on his work that although the resulting photographs appear simple and easy to understand when you first hear of the method, there is an incredible amount of work, effort, and experience behind each photograph. 
At first glance, it appears as though the tap is drawing water from this air and dropping it into the fountain at Aqualand in Spain. The illusion, often referred to as the magical tap or the floating tap, appears in other locations in Spain, as well as Belgium, Switzerland, Wisconsin, Canada, England, and likely many, many more places. The trick, however, is quite simple, and if left to think about it, you can probably figure it out on your own, too. There is a pipe running up to the exit of the faucet, pushing water into the tap as more water falls from the rim of the tap, cleverly covering the pipe making it all possible. The Impossible Triangle in East Perth, Australia looks like a Mobius strip in three-sided form when you look at it. Something about it is just puzzling. The shadowing doesn't make any sense at all, and nor do the sides in the sun. It reminds one of the classic artwork Ascending and Descending by M.C. Escher. The triangle is also described as a Penrose Triangle, or Impossible Tribar. Such a thing is impossible to create in the real world, hence its name. And as such, the illusion is created by three connecting straight bars, which only when viewed from the correct angle, make up the illusion of a perfect impossible triangle. It's the kind of thing that can take a long time to wrap your head around, and therefore its location in in the middle of a busy roundabout is perhaps not the most well thought out placement. This is exactly what you're thinking. A building carved into the side of a face of a cliff. The Elemo de San Colombano, translating to the Hermitage of St. Colomban, is located near Trambolino in Italy. It is only accessible after crossing the gorge over the River Lino and climbing 102 steps cut directly into the ledge of rock. It was built in the year 1319. St. Columban was an Irish saint who lived in the 6th and 7th centuries. The hermitage was used for over 400 years until it was discontinued in 1782. And after hermetic monasticism was abolished, the hermitage was taken care of by the locals. Despite this, the building still does receive some coverage, in that every year at Christmas there is a mass held at the monastery, after which a beautiful procession is held by torchlight. This image, however, may not be exactly what you're thinking. If you're thinking netting in a forest, you're taking the more pleasant pattern of thinking. As a matter of fact, this is the result of millions of spiderlings becoming fully grown spiders and building webbing to match across several acres in a state park east of Dallas, Texas. While it will certainly be comforting to some, the general consensus in the scientific community was that it should have been protected for as long as possible, against either overly wary guardians or those simply wanting a quick thrill by knocking it down. You don't have much to worry about anymore though, thankfully. The image was published adjacent to an article featured in the New York Times over 10 years ago, in late August 2007. In Indonesia, there is a volcano that erupts blue flames. This is in no way fake or photoshopped. This is absolutely real. The Ijen crater spews out this phenomenon as a result of sulfur. When sulfur burns, it gives off a pleasant and calming blue flame. The cracks in the crater allow for sulfur to be displaced and ignited to over a thousand degrees. Directly next to the blue flame volcano is a green lake, of course. The reason for this color rarity is unsurprisingly also caused by the volcano. The Kama Ijen crater lake's color is attributed to the volcano's constant eruption of high hydrogen chloride gas, which flows to the lake. When hydrochloric gas mixes with H2O, the end product is hydrochloric acid, which is what a large majority of the lake itself is, and has a pH level close to zero. In one form or another, everyone's seen street art. However, this painting stretching down an entire street, created by German street painter Edgar Moeller, is awe-inspiringly cool, and at a brief glance looks like a terrifying still from an apocalypse movie. Moeller has been named as one of the world's leading illusionist artists, and there's certainly no reasonable question as to why. In 2009, Moeller posted a video to his YouTube showing a time-lapse of one of his three-day-long projects, titled The Crevasse, which has racked up almost 9 million views to date. The street artist has also painted painted such menacing scenarios as ravines, canyons, earthquakes, and floods, as well as more welcoming concepts, such as escalators, cars, and helicopters. We know throughout the animal kingdom, many species have different forms of self-defense, be it a skunk spray or a hermit crab shell. One of the more prominent and confusing forms, however, is perhaps imitation. These snakes are not actually snakes, they're caterpillars, named appropriately as the snake mimic caterpillar. The most common form naturally looks like a snake as a way to ward off predators, such as birds or small mammals. They come mostly in green or yellow colors, but duller colors such as brown and gray have also been photographed and documented. Some caterpillars also have appendages on the top of their head they can extend to appear as a snake's tongue. These caterpillars were the inspiration for Caterpie, one of the first Pokemon encountered in the popular franchise. There are no tricks here. This isn't a clever camera angle or a positioning of items. This is Freddy, officially the tallest dog in the entire world. Freddy is owned by Claire Stoneman, who is 5'4". 
Freddy isn't even six years old and already he's seven and a half feet tall, weighs 200 pounds, and has a taste for peanut butter and chicken. Stoneman spends over $17,000 a year in looking after Freddy and his sister Fleur, but she says they have a priority over even her own love life and she wouldn't have it any other way. 